maintenance of the Air Force bases and installations and perform Magandang araw mga kabayan at kadepensa may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo, dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may pag-uusapan tayong tungkol sa ating depensa, mga bagong tangke at armas ng Pilipinas galing Israel Ibinida, pero bago tayo magpatuloy wag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, sa ginanap na 88th founding anniversary ng Armed Forces of the Philippines sa Camp Aguinaldo. Colonel Joseph Carlo Pora, his staff, Majors Ramon Christopher Engay, Manilin Colliado, Arvin Macalintal, and Elpidio Salinas. The Philippine Air Force is tagged as the Angel of Mercy and the Guardian of the Philippine Skies, primarily tasked to secure our country's airspace as a forward defense shield. Parading next are the contingents from the prestigious Philippine Military Academy, the Cadet Corps of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, led by Cadet First Class Emmanuel Kibal with his staff, Cadet First Class Lance Loreyeg, Robert Dave Incal, Andre Josh Romero, Roy Angelo Valmonte, and Red Christian Rico Franca. Ladies and gentlemen, these young male and female cadets are the future leaders of the Armed Forces of the Philippines from the different regions of the archipelago. They are trained and guided by the tradition of excellence, espousing the values of courage, integrity, and loyalty. The audience is requested to rise for the passing of the national colors. Thank you. Please be seated. Following is the AFP Mast Colors consist of the Major Service Commands, Unified Commands, and the AFP-wide Service Support Units. The 2nd Brigade is under the command of Brigadier General Gulliver L. Senyeres with his staff, Lt. Colonels Emanuel Adriano, Claudio Bultake Jr., Carmelito Aquino Jr., John Paul Hakla and Commander Ray Habonete. First Battalion comprised of the cadets from the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, led by Neil Archie Hamchawan, his staff James Peter Dimaiwat, John Walt Alam, Dave John Hamosa, Mark Benjoliban, and Jude Ryan Garcia. PMMA, the pioneer institution in Philippine maritime education. Following next, are the Special Operations Forces of the Philippine Army led by Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Macatual with his staff Majors Rex Larita, Artemio Sombrio Jr. and Captains Christian Pescasha and Bongino Estrada. These units, the 1st Scout Ranger Regiment and the Special Forces Regiment Airborne, specialize in unconventional warfare. This time we have the Special Operations Forces of the Philippine Navy headed by Commander Samson Servano, his staff, Major Romel Robles, Lieutenant Commanders Juan Tarosa and Marlon Andalio, and Major J. Jubilan. The contingent is comprised of the Naval Special Operations Command, Force Reconnaissance Group, and the Marine Battalion Landing Team, capable of conducting maritime special operations, counterterrorism, and other special operations. Next is the 7th 10th Special Operations Wing of the Philippine Air Force, led by Lieutenant Colonel Joseph A. Domingo. It is staff Major Mark Anthony Cuevas, Captains Edzar Belier, Gilbert Maramag, and Frederick Malacat Jr. The 7th and conducts special operations for defense of the Air Force bases and installations and perform other contingency operations. We now have the motorized contingent which showcases the assets being used in the internal security operations, territorial defense operations, and the anti-terrorism. Before us as the ASCOD 2 Sabra Light Tanks, a testament to international collaboration and unwavering resolve. This is not merely a machine. It's a symbol of strength, mobility, and unwavering firepower ready to defend our nation's values on any battlefield. 
Ascot 2 Sabre Light Tank boasts a versatile seven-wheel chassis that conquers any terrains. Its rugged armor meeting the stringent NATO Stanag 4569 Level 4 Ballistic Protection Standards shields its crew from even the most potent threats. Yet, Ascot 2 Sabre Tank is more than just a brute force. With its command post vehicle, ASCO 2 Sabre Light Tank state of the art surveillance and communication system provide unparalleled situational awareness. And now turning our attention to a different facet of our armored mine, let's welcome the armored mortar carrier with its 120 millimeter mounted mortar system, a mobile artillery bastion. The armored mortar carrier with its 120 millimeter mounted mortar system offers a potent combination of mobility, protection, and precision artillery power. The latest in the inventory of the Army's artillery assets is the Soltam Atmos 155mm self-propelled howitzer, which will boast indirect fire support capabilities. Next, we have the Marine V-300 Fight Support Vehicle of the Marine Reconnaissance Battalion's Light Armored Vehicle with Cockrell 90mm gun. The Spider Philippines Air Defense System is the Philippine Air Force's air and defense system which will protect vital installations and key assets of the country. This is the central control unit of the air and missile defense. It is part of the Air Force Integrated Air Defense alongside the Philippine Air Force Air and Defense System and fighter aircraft for a layered air defense operations. Following is the rigid hull inflatable boat with two machine guns being used by the Naval Special Operations Command. This watercraft is highly utilized as platform to insert, extract, and provide far support to operating SEAL teams of the Philippine Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen a segment of your armed forces of the Philippines pass before you. These soldiers represent every airman, sailor, the marine and the foot soldier out there in the field defending our country from all those who wish to destroy the peace, take away our freedom and stunt our country's development. Once again, a big hand for the armed Forces of the Philippines. The PH is a supersonic lead and fighter aircraft. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 1.56 times the speed of sound and has a digital avionics system with a proven air superiority capability for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. Ladies and gentlemen, the aircraft being piloted by the following Lieutenant Colonel Michael Rabina, Major John Red Honrales, Captains Jude Salangoy and Bonifacio Banganan, tagged as Aguila ng Pilipinas, the FA-50PH fighter aircraft. Ipinakita dito ang iba't ibang mga bagong armas ng ating hukbo ngayon, dinaluhan ito mismo ni Pangulong Marcos kasama ang matataas na opisyal ng militar, at dito nga ay ipinarada na ang mga bagong kagamitan, kapansin-pansin na halos Israeli made ang mga ipinaradang armas ngayon at hindi na nga natin nakita ang mga luma nating APC katulad ng Simba APC. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video, 
Para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout mag-comment lamang po at share, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, huwag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video. Maraming salamat po.